Like and subscribe now, or you're going to have bad luck this week. There is no denying that cats are among the majority when it comes to pets. It's kind of hard to hate them. And with over 200 breeds, there is bound to be something for everyone. Well, that's true for the ordinary, purring friend. For some breeds, owning them can be a bit of a tall order since they're rare. And with the rarity comes a hefty price. In today's video, we take a look at 10 of the rarest cat breeds in the world. Let's begin. Number 10. Palace's Cat I don't know about you, but these cats are giving me the spooks. Also called the Manul, the Palace Cat is a small, fluffy, adorable, and elusive species endemic to the grasslands of Central Asia. Roughly the size of a domestic cat, the Palace Cat is 18 to 26 inches long, weighs between 5.5 and 10 pounds, with a stocky frame and long, dense, patterned fur. Its bearded and flattened face has an expression that makes grumpy cats seem content. The Palace Cat has been described as looking like a grumpy old man. Palace cats are solitary. They spend their days in caves, rock crevices, or marmont burrows, and emerge in the late afternoon to start hunting. They aren't fast runners, so they primarily hunt by ambush or stalking, taking cover amid low vegetation and rocky terrain. Number 9. Jaguarundi What a name! The Jaguarundi is typically found in Texas and Mexico, with some also spotted as far as Argentina. They prefer to reside in lowland brush areas with water nearby. Scientists don't know much about them, but at least there is information on their characteristics and habitat. The Jaguarundi has short legs, an elongated body, and long tail. Its coat is uniform in color and usually varies from black to brownish gray. Unlike most wild cat species, the Jaguarundi is primarily active during the day as opposed to evenings or at night. They often lie in trees, but hunt on the ground. For prey, Jaguarundi typically catches a mixture of rodents, small reptiles, and ground-feeding birds. They have also been observed killing larger prey, such as rabbits and possums. It's a shame that such a beautiful creature is still a mystery to us. Captive Jaguarundis rarely live for more than 10 years. Number 8. Japanese Bobtail Japanese bobtails are born with a rabbit-like puff tail, and some will even hop like rabbits rather than running. In the year 1602, the Japanese government demanded that all cats be set free to help protect the valuable silkworm fields from rodents. Buying and selling cats were illegal at that time, so Japanese bobtails were street cats. Bobtails come in many colors, but the most popular is calico, or maiki, in Japanese. Most people have seen at least a version of the bobtail. The famous maniki neko, or beckoning cat, is a good luck charm, consisting of a Japanese bobtail sitting on its haunches with a forepaw raised. Japanese bobtails didn't arrive in America until 1968, when a cat breeder named Elizabeth Ferret imported three Japanese bobtail kittens after she saw a cat that a military service family had brought back from Japan. Around the same time, another breeder named Lynn Beck, who frequently visited Japan, began importing the bobtails as well. Beck ended up founding the first cat club dedicated to the Japanese bobtail, and she and Ferret joined forces and wrote the first breed standard for the cat. Tying into the next breed on this list, Odd-eyed bobtails are now quite popular in Japan, having silver-gold eyes, actually blue and amber-yellow. The heterochromatic kittens are much more expensive, but don't have the same legend surrounding them as the Kaumini. Number 7. Serengeti Sometimes, you're not born into the world an original, you're created, and cats have been bred that way for a long time, believe it or not. A great example of this is the Serengeti, with the intention of creating a domestic cat with an exotic wild appearance. The Serengeti was developed by crossing a Bengal with an oriental short hair. They're a relatively newer breed, with a handful of breeders in the United States, Europe, Australia, and Russia. Aside from their regal looks, the Serengeti is an active feline that requires a lot of attention from its owners. Number 6. Scottish Fold The Scottish Fold, or Capari in Canada, has a dominant genetic mutation that causes the cartilage in their ears to have a fold sometimes even up to two or three folds. This makes their ears flop forward, giving them their distinctive appearance. 
The more folds the cat ears have, the closer to the head their ears will lie. The fold's ears look straight and normal at birth, but will begin to fold after about 21 days. Scottish folds are generally friendly, cuddly cats and don't mind other pets. They also like to sleep in the Buddha position, sitting with their legs straight out and their back straight up from the hip, like a human. These cats are sensitive, expressive, and active. They love to play and are not the best cats to leave home alone. They prefer a companion, even another cat, to keep them company. If you can provide this loving feline with the attention they crave and keep up with their needs, they just might be the new furry family member you're looking for. Number 5. Savannah Cat A Savannah Cat is a crossbreed of your everyday domestic cat in a serval. A serval is just a cat, but it's wild and it's distinguishable from a domestic one by its large ears. Savannas inherit these large ears and are generally larger compared to ordinary domestic cats. In fact, they're the largest cat breed. That said, the size is heavily dependent on both generation and sex, where the male members of the F1 hybrid tend to be the largest. But this large size doesn't in any way point to a true picture of this breed's average weight. These cats weigh less than they appear, with the F1 types being heavier than later generations. Members of the early generation average between 3.6 and 9.1 kilograms, while later generations weigh 3.2 and 6.8 kilograms. As for temperament, they're just as good as their other domestic cats, sometimes even better. They're very social and tend to be friendly with new people as well as other cats and even dogs. And just like dogs, they can play fetch. Perhaps the most problematic characteristic of the Savannah Cat is its jumping ability. They're known to jump as high as 2 meters from a standing position, something they seem to cherish. That means you're going to need a lot of space if you wish to keep them. And they also open doors and cupboards to better prepare for this. The price of a Savannah Cat ranges from $1,000 to $20,000 with early generations being pricier. Number 4. Maine Coon as the name suggests, the Maine Coon Cat hails from Maine. Their double coat long hair is well suited for the harsh winters in Maine. Little is known of their origin, a popular ship's cat, Mouser, and farm cat from way back in the 19th century, believed to have been brought by the Vikings before Columbus sailed the ocean blue, while other claims they are descendants of the Marie Antoinette cats that had long hair. Their resemblance to the raccoon is how they ended up with the name Coon. Number 3. The British Shorthair The British Shorthair cats are easygoing, adaptable, friendly, and sweet. They are solid and muscular cats that are slightly reserved. These cats are not very stranger friendly, but once they are familiar and quite taken with someone, they are usually very affectionate. One fun fact about this breed is that they are best known for their large round heads, round eyes, round paws, and very dense fur. Unlike other pet cats, the British Shorthair won't sit on your lap. Instead, he will lie beside your sofa close to you. They like to be around people, but are also reserved. Males of this breed are usually easygoing. Females, on the other hand, are more reserved and smaller. The most popular of the British Shorthair is the British Blue, but can come in other colors. The British Shorthair originates from the United Kingdom. Number 2. Chaucy Chaucy has a long history, dating back thousands of years, in Egypt. This is only natural since the ancient Egyptians have been known to have kept cats. Numerous domestic cat mummies that have been discovered in Egyptian temples are a strong pointer to this. Chaucy cats are a hybrid of the domestic cat with the jungle cat that is native to a larger part of India, Southeast Asia, and the Middle East. In Egypt, the jungle cat dwells specifically in the Nile Delta. Despite being around for long, it was only recognized in 1995 by the TICA as a domestic cat. Most Chaucys are either large or medium in comparison to everyday domestic cats, with males being larger than their female counterparts. Male Chaucys weigh 5 to 7 kilograms, and females average between 4 and 6 kilograms. Officially recognized coat colors are black ticked tabby, solid black, and black grizzled tabby. That said, you're bound to find numerous varieties that will still make wonderful pets. Chaucys have been termed as generally intelligent and athletic cats. They're quite active when younger, and toned down as they grow older. 
They prefer companies and will do well if they're raised with other cats or dogs. Being hybrids of the wild jungle cat, Chaucys may inherit a shorter intestinal tract as compared to normal domestic cats, and that means they will have a reduced ability to digest plant-based ingredients. So it's better to limit these ingredients in its diet if you settle for one of these cats. You can expect to pay between $1,000 and $2,500 for a Chaucy kitten. Number 1. Ashira Everybody has thought at one time, wouldn't it be great to have a leopard at home or a tiger? Obviously, you can't unless you're Filthy Rich or Mike Tyson. For cat lovers with exotic tastes and deep pockets, a California biotech company has created a hybrid breed that resembles a mini leopard and sells for $22,000. You might mistake this one for savannah cats, but the Ashira is a mix between an African serval and Asian leopards, and a domesticated cat that can weigh up to 30 pounds. It's exotic, but under the skin, it's a domestic house cat, very easy to take care of and extremely friendly. The Ashira is not as aloof as some cats is very vocal and can open doors and walk on a leash. It must be really worth it for the $22,000 price tag. Which one of these cats did you enjoy the most? Let us know in the comments. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next one.